I'm at Fort Banks Police Station where officers are going out responding to calls from the public. Protecting you and your family and keeping you safe is Northumbria Police's number one priority. But to do that, we need a well-resourced police force. Thanks to a decade of austerity, we're way behind where we should be. Since 2010, Northumbria Police lost over 1,100 officers and in that time, government didn't even replace police staff. They've taken £148 million out of Northumbria's budget. Now you might have heard government talking about 20,000 extra cops, but here's the reality. That promise of 20,000 police officers from government only replaces about half of what we lost here in Northumbria. Their plans just don't go far enough. Crime is evolving. Demand is higher than it's ever been before. And yet, the government funding continues to fail the people of the North East. So what can we do to keep people safe? Well, for me and many others, prevention has to be the key. In too many of our neighbourhoods and communities, austerity has meant that young people just don't have what they need. Youth services have been cut and the sure start centres that families so relied on have had to close. We have to bring an end to this lack of opportunity. We have to break down the barriers that deprivation creates. This is how we'll prevent crime. This is how we will reduce crime. And if you want to know what crime prevention in action looks like, sport is one of the biggest answers. This is Sunderland Foundation of Light. I'm just here seeing how the YOLO project's getting on. YOLO is a programme for young people where they're given trusted mentors. They're given an alternative to criminality. They learn through art and sport and education and the mentors support them through all parts of their life, whether that be at home, with their siblings, at school or here while they're having a kickabout. It's an absolutely brilliant programme that gives young people opportunities. It gives them a chance and it changes lives. And so we need more police on our streets and I'll keep sending government that message to give us back our cops. But we have to prioritise our young people and fund youth services properly. I'll continue to prioritise projects like this that back young people and give them opportunities. That was a